to another ITF tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to remove your passcode off your iPod Touch or iPhone and also I'm going to show you how to remove your passcode for, for iProtect if you have it. If not, don't worry about it. Before we even get started, this is only going to work for you if you have OpenSSH installed and can access wireless internet. If not, you won't be able to do this because you're going to need to use win Windows scripting in order to access your root folders to change to delete the password. So if you do not have it, don't even bother trying it. You need to have OpenSSH from Cydia and Windows scripting. And if you don't have it and you want to get it, just check the description for the link to my other video that shows you exactly what to do and how to install it. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and log in. First, let me go ahead and set a passcode so I can so you can see that I have a passcode installed. Go to General. Scroll down to where it says Pass Lock. Enter a pass lock. One, two, three, four. Re-enter. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now I have my passcode entered. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Turn it back on, and now you see I have the password on there. So let's go ahead and open Windows scripting. Okay, I'm in. Now you want to go to var. Go down to where it says keychains, and then it says keychain dash two dot db. Go ahead and right click and delete that. Okay, now you're done with this. Minimize it. Come back over here. And you're going to have to restart your your device in order for this to take place. So go ahead and restart it by holding the home button. Sorry, not the home button, the power button until it says slide to power off. Okay, now that I have restarted, as you can see, I'm back to my home screen. When I click the power button, I mean the unlock button, it takes me back to my home page. No passcode needed. Okay, um, earlier today I encountered a problem with iProtect. I never use iProtect, but I did have a password saved on there a long time ago. So I went into iProtect to, to uh, disable that so you cannot delete or move anything. And I accidentally um, locked all applications with the password. And when I exited out of the program, I did not have access back to any applications without the passcode. I did not know the passcode, so I was, you know, out of luck pretty much. And I wasn't near a computer, so I couldn't, you know, access them. So what I did was when I got home, I logged into uh, WinSCP. You go to VAR, go to mobile, click on library, and then down here, locate the iProtect folder. There it is. And then inside here, you're going to have a little a, a file in here. Go ahead and right click and delete it. And once you do that and restart your device, your um, passcode for iProtect will be removed and you are back to normal. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I know it was a pain in the butt when I first had this problem, but you know, uh, once I figured it out, I wanted to share it with you guys so you guys won't have the same problem and uh, hopefully you guys have got your devices restored without actually having to restore it in iTunes because if you do that, you're going to have to um, um, get all your apps again because restoring it will delete all your files, all your music, all your videos, everything. So that's a last resort. So I recommend not doing that. Just follow the steps that I just showed you and you'll be able to bypass your uh, passcode and uh, be back into your device. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please write five stars if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you.